Hey everyone, welcome back, welcome back to the channel. My name's Grant, in today's video we're going to talk about old school DSLR cameras in 2023 and why I still think yes they are very relevant and why also I think we should all have one in our camera bag. So let's roll that intro and let's get straight into it. Hey everyone, welcome back. So yeah. DSLR cameras in 2023, are they still relevant? Well, they are relevant if you want them to be. For me, you know, I now use mirrorless cameras most of the time. I use Panasonic Lumix cameras, uh, GX9, I've got a GH5 Mark II here. I'm filming on the Panasonic G9 right now. Yeah, I love my mirrorless cameras, particularly the Panasonic brand, absolutely in love with it. Micro Four Thirds, the only way to go. However, for me, there still is a big place for uh, DSLR cameras in my camera ecosystem. Um, I use my DSLR camera a lot, mostly for personal work these days. However, I still do use them on pro jobs if I'm looking for a certain look in my images, but you know, usually it's mirrorless cameras. However, for personal work, um, you know, DSLR cameras you know, still have a special place in my heart and I use them all the time. Let's have a look now at the cold hard facts of DSLR cameras. Fact number one, these things are cheap. I picked up this old Nikon D90 for about $210 last year um, and it was in great condition. You know, these now, I've seen these for as little as about $150. Even full frame D700s, they're around the $300 mark and they're getting cheaper and cheaper because the mirrorless cameras, you know, people are upgrading and they're getting rid of their old DSLR style cameras. So they're out there, they're on eBay, they're on Marketplace and they are cheap. Nikons and Canons too, Canon 60Ds, they're running for about $190 right now. The 7Ds are just over $200. Maybe a really, really good one for just over $300. And also, you know, if you look hard too, you can get a bargain with a camera and lens combination. The lens options with old DSLR cameras are brilliant. As I've said, you know, people are switching over to mirrorless systems myself included, and they're getting rid of all their old uh, DSLR lenses. So, you know, not only is there a ton of them, they are also at a great price. So I picked up this Nikon uh, DX35mm prime lens, f1.8. I got this thing for about $110, great condition. I picked up this zoom lens, the 18-105. to It's a variable aperture lens, but it's still fantastic in good light. Um, and I picked this up for just over $100 too. So you can build a really, really good lens kit up with your old school uh, DSLR camera. Another great thing, another fact about DSLR cameras is the battery life. Compared to mirrorless cameras, these things will just keep going and going and going. So for our mirrorless cameras, we've always got to have, you know, a stack of batteries. With an old DSLR camera, you know, you're right with pretty much one battery, maybe even two just to be sure. The other great thing about DSLR cameras, in my opinion, of course, is the autofocus. Uh, for stills and fast action photography, they really can't be beat. I use this Nikon 
camera here, the D90 for my son's pony club, action events and things like that. The autofocus is always great with old school DSLR cameras. And finally, the last fact I want to make about, you know, DSLR cameras compared to their mirrorless counterparts um, is the durability. These things are built like tanks. They will take a beating. So compared to cameras like, let's just say my GH5 Mark II, although in my opinion, I think Panasonic do make some of the most rugged uh, micro four thirds or mirrorless cameras out there. They're still built very well, but compared to my old Nikon DSLR cameras, they really can't be beat. So they're the facts, you know, about DSLR cameras and why we should all get one. You know, they're just fantastic. But there's two other points I want to really, uh, you know, point out. Okay, the files, right? The files and images that come out of um, DSLR cameras, there's just something about them. The look, the feel, the vibe. I don't know, I can't put my finger on it, but whenever I, you know, do like a session with my D90 and I rip the photos in a Lightroom just straight away. You know, they just look fantastic. I'm always impressed with the results that come out of my DSLR camera. Image results, the quality, the look, the vibe, ah, oh, can't be beat. The other thing is, the fun factor. When you use mirrorless cameras, um, in my opinion, uh, and this is just my opinion of course, there's something a little bit more clinical about the mirrorless cameras, um, particularly like a GH5 or you know a G9 that I'm filming on right now. You know, the results are brilliant that come out of those cameras. However, they are very clinical in a good way. There's something about using um, a DSLR camera that takes me back and, you know, makes things, you know, a little bit more old school and certainly does slow me down too. And maybe it's got a lot to do with the OVF compared to the EVF. Chimp down and check your shots, check your exposure, you know, things like that. It slows me down. It's more, more of a tactile experience. Uh, a real sort of photography experience. And you know, when fun is involved, the inspiration hits and I'm inspired to get out there more and use these cameras. And then also that does inspire me as a photographer in general, as a creative person in general, to get out there with any of my cameras that I got and create great images. So there you have it, just a quick video, you know, on old school DSLR cameras and why I still think, you know, we should all have one in our kit and you know, when we're sort of lacking motivation, um, you know, we're using our mirrorless cameras for pro work or personal work or whatever you use, if you're lacking a bit of motivation, switching things up with an old DSLR camera might be the thing you're looking for. So let me know what you think. Um, do you have a DSLR camera in your lineup of mirrorless cameras too? Are you still only using a DSLR camera here and now in 2023 for personal work or professional work? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you like this sort of thing, please consider subscribing to the channel. That helps me out a lot. Uh, also, big thumbs up for the video, and I'll see you all next time. Bye. Okay, hopefully this time Panasonic and your autofocus worked. Anyway.